Well, folks, it's time for two reactions here from McDermott Park in Perth after St Johnson now Celtic 3. We'll start with Connor Bailey tonight. Great play in the first half and great to see Griffin the goals again tonight. Disappointing we took our foot off the gas in the second half and Clamalla should have got more game time. I thought in the first half we were absolutely superb tonight. For the minute one, we played at such a brilliant speed. That's that's it. That's what you come to see. That's why you drive to Perth on a Wednesday night in the pissing rain because that was superb in the first half I thought real, real attack and intent to the team two up front again everybody was delighted with the team selection before the game 3-5-2 the link up between Edward and Griffiths for the first goal was top class out to Forest great ball in wonderful header for Cham that's no like him and then I just thought for that 25 minute period where we got the three goals we were absolutely untouchable I thought we played some great stuff the interlinking all over the park was superb ok we took our foot off the gas after that um, it would have been good to see Clamalla a little bit earlier, but hey-ho, we can't complain. Three points, that's what we came here for, and the first half showing was absolutely terrific. Bobby Paul, job done. Uh, next half the sport, uh, our greeting, job done is all you want. On to the next one from now until the end. Aye, listen, I came with two halves, you can say that tonight. Superb the first half, foot off the gas in the second. That's natural, you see that a lot um, when a team races into a three-goal lead. There can be a drop-off subconsciously. You know the game's probably done, especially against St Johnson, who have been struggling. Um, we know we can coast the rest of the game. That's natural. It can happen, but listen, three points on to the next one. Josh Smith, class in the first half. Link up between Eddie and Griffiths was quality. Slowed down the second half, but still, we got the three points. We'll finish with Patrick Murphy. Uh, untouchable in the first half, then took the foot off the gas in the second. And Cham was brilliant, despite the West Ham speculation. And Griffiths is slowly but surely looking more dangerous. Just a, sh a shame that Clamalla couldn't go on earlier. Uh, we buy players and then take ages to get them into the side. I, I think everybody can see the link up between Edward and Griffiths is coming. It, it's it's re looked really sharp at times. Okay, there was there was a drop off after the third goal, but it's really promising. I think when we played three five two once or twice in the first half of the season, it didn't really look great. I think the twice we've used it so far after the break, we've looked absolutely superb. Um, it really helps us going forward. It gives us a different dynamic, gives us a freshness, and I think that helps us. We're, in the four two three one, we're very very used to playing that, and it can sometimes be predictable. I think playing two up gives us a lot more variety in the play, and I think I think it really does work. Um, it would have been nice to see Clamalla earlier. The Encham speculation going to West Ham. I don't know how much there is in it. It's kind of came out of nowhere today. One report saying they're in advanced talks. If that is a way to sign off, then um, it was far from his worst game for Celtic. I thought he was very good in the first half. I don't think he's going to go anywhere. If he does go somewhere, I'd really like us to get another one in, particularly if we're selling him for 12, 12 million or thereabouts. We need to get somebody else in, but I don't expect him to go. We'll see. We'll see what happens. There's only a few days left. That'll do us for Twitter reactions tonight. Like the video, comment with your own thoughts below, and if you haven't already, please don't forget to click subscribe below. We'll see you on Sunday at Hamilton. Cheers.